Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. In this presentation, we are going to look at how to set manual cash for your favorite airports. If you are flying from a particular airport most frequently, you can set the cash so the airport will load quickly. So let's begin. Let's move. When you come to the main menu, look for the options and click on the click on the options then you go to general options under the general options click on data when you look at data you come down here as you can see there is a rolling cache which is set to on and we want to focus on manual cache just click on the manual cache earlier today i set up uh, the overall maximum cache to be 30 gigabytes but as you can see I selected the Houston Hobby Airport which takes only 1.6 uh, megabytes which is fine it's a big area what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Houston Intercontinental Airport in order to do that first I have to search for the the airport name which is basically K plus the airport name I a H is the name for Houston Inter Intercontinental Airport. If I just put K, it will show George Bush Intercontinental Airports. I click on that one. Next, we move here and say Cache New Region. This is the Houston Intercontinental Airport, which is the as you know, Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States. And here is the complete layout of the Houston area. It is going to come back here and uh, paint the whole picture. So I don't know if I can reduce this. Okay, that's good. So I need to catch a pretty large area of the airport so that uh, we have everything we want to do. And here, as you said, you can do that. Next point is to do the right click and then the left click. It highlights the area it is going to catch when the area is highlighted just click on medium and then say finish and download wait till it completely downloads the region uh, okay it's 1.6 megabytes as you can see we probably don't need 30 gigabytes of memory because i already have two airports in the houston area namely the intercontinental airport which is an international airport and also Houston hobby airport which both of them take which take little more than three megabytes so I can probably just set this to 20 and you can modify that when we are done that's it and we can go back to general and come back to cache again go to data just to confirm that what we have done is all being stored okay that is how you do let's go back to option and that's how you set manual cache to the most popular airports that you use so the information loads very quickly and expedites uh, your flying experience thank you so much for watching this presentation and please please do subscribe to our youtube channel and we will see you next time thank you